The incidence of self-mutilation occurred between Wednesday and Friday of last week. An UPI elementary student told a school official what was happening, and UPI officials in turn notified the superintendent's office Monday of this week. Once we heard about it, we arranged to go up to uh, to uh, UPI um, to see, you know, what support we could provide to the school community. After assessing the situation, acting DOE Superintendent Titano assigned Student Support Administrator Chris Anderson, Deputy Superintendent Robert Malay, Supervisor for Parent Outreach Doris Bukikosa, and Nursing Administrator Julieta Kineni to help the students and staff at UPI work through the issues that led to this outbreak of self-mutilation by the preteens at the elementary school. They were cutting themselves and so the school took immediate action with the utmost urgency and alerted all the necessary officials down here at central office as well as other entities to make sure that the students were safe. Where were they cutting themselves? Um, majority of them did it on their, on their arms, on their arms, on their wrist area. Were any hospitalized? None, none of them thus far that we are aware of. How serious would you call these self-mutilation wounds? Was it superficial or was this a serious? Uh, most of them were superficial, but is um, why they did it was um, the, the concern for us. You know, was it copycatting, the peer pressure, or was there something else that, that was going on in the child's head? DOE officials don't know yet what led to the behavior. The Department of Mental Health has been contacted and DOE has already reached out to the parents. Parents were actually notified immediately. Uh, all of the parents were given uh, documentation uh, as well as referrals uh, to outside agencies for services. Uh, in addition, the school actually uh, conducted a meeting and uh, information was provided to the parents, uh, services that are available to them, uh, as well as to the children, uh, if the children needed additional support services. It's always possible that this could just be students who are, you know, playing around with each other, and it's, it mushroomed into something, of course, more serious. And as adults, uh, we're not going to take uh, self-mutilation lightly. Can you say how many kids were involved? Um, we can say safely it was 20 children. 20 children? Mm -hmm. Is there something going on on the internet, or...? TV? Is there a, a movie or that's recently gone? That's a huge thing. It's the internet. Um, kids copying th things from the internet. Let's see how we do this, which, which is in this case was blades. Um, there's erasers, there's spice, there's all kinds of other stuff going on that can harm themselves, yes. Do you have any sense of what might have inspired this? Um, no, majority of them um, couldn't pinpoint anything specific yet, so it, it is just Vague why he did it. Kevin Carrigan, PNC News. We don't know the assessment is over.